just two days since the tragic crash in Philadelphia, another Amtrak train involved in what could have been another serious incident. As an engine catches on fire in Milwaukee, about 50 passengers evacuated, no injuries. In Pittsburgh today, a freight train derails, 10 cars off the tracks. Just a couple of the latest incidents that have some wondering whether our nation's rail system is safe at any speed. I'm pretty comfortable. But talk to some train riders in San Francisco, and they don't seem terribly concerned. Are you concerned at all ever about riding the train? Overall, no. I think it's a pretty tightly run system. Does riding a train at all worry you? No, not at all. The statistics seem to bear this out. Amtrak's record has improved in recent years, and that includes derailments. The Washington Post found that accidents due to track problems have fallen by two-thirds since 2000, while accidents caused by human error have roughly halved over that period. Amtrak is safe. Uh, Amtrak carries almost 31 million passengers a year, very few incidents. But it's not all positive, especially when you compare the U.S. to some European countries, where train ridership is also much higher. For instance, the American Enterprise Institute found adjusted for passenger miles traveled, Amtrak's passengers get injured 58 times as often as those on French railroads. Some critics pointing to the nation's aging rails. We are living off the greatest generation's investment in infrastructure in this country. And we have done nothing to honor that investment. There are also concerns about freight trains, most notably those hauling oil through communities. Two years ago, a runaway train with dozens of cars carrying crude oil wreaked havoc on a small town in Quebec, Canada. 47 people killed. The causes, human error, indifference to safety, and insufficient regulations. The fear is something like that could be repeated here in the U.S. A Houston Chronicle investigation found little government oversight when it comes to Texas oil transported by trains. Back in Philadelphia, it's becoming clearer that excessive speed is a main factor in the crash, leaving some to ask how many more scenes like this before the nation is ready to invest in greater rail safety. Dan Simon, CNN, San Francisco.